football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they wanted to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first and 10, Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Here's Prescott. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Midfield at the 49. The NFL teams last year a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. <laughs> Prescott to throw on four. Complete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. One receiver left, two to the right. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They stay on the ground. This is Gillisley again. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goal post. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Now they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got Rome. Cuts it out to the sideline. And oh, at the end of it, he strips. Ball comes loose. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And last time we saw them go for it in kind of an unusual situation. It's not like it's a fourth quarter do or die. They went for it, didn't get it. We'll see how that affects them this go around. Partner, I'm wondering if we're starting to see the effects of analytics coming into play here, where people are studying the number of possessions, how many times you should go for it, what position it leaves your team in. Maybe we're starting to see a little bit of that creeping into the NFL game. Yeah, I think we, we've seen it in other sports, maybe into the NFL now as well. 
See if they stay on the ground for second down. They come out here in the eye. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it, they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, got the safe completion on third and in their own territory needing only a few inches they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down it's a keeper with Prescott call it a gain of three and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches Oh, man, my stomach hurts just watching this team call plays. I've heard of going for it on fourth down in the red zone, but not when you're inside your own oh, yeah. red zone. And boy, somehow they take a chance here, and it pays off. Away. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll come up now in the Wildcat package. And the direct snap. This is Elliott. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. And a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college. They were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses. And now we're seeing it in the NFL. Those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield. Similar to that one. Eight yards on the run. And that takes us down to a third and about five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Prescott from the gun on third. And this is going to be fucking lie, man. What the fuck so you want me to do? Roughing the passer penalty, Charles, and of course that's 15 yards. And everyone knows how protected the quarterbacks are. You've got to make sure that when you launch at a quarterback, that you're hitting him in the right spot and in the right time. They'll run with Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On second down, Elliott. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Here we go. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got some space here. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a seven-yard game there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. down throw for Prescott a dump off to Elliott and he's brought down welcome back live to Orlando it's been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter long drive the defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field Here we go. Prescott on first down over the middle here to Rudolph and he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow. 
a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Terrell Suggs in on the tackle. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Here we go! Hey! Second down, Prescott. And complete, right side, the tight end Rudolph. That catch good for five, it's third down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed, I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? The give is to Elliott. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. And Hauschka's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Mm. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain, and it's second down. Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. No, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play. But it didn't gain him any yardage. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 at enemy territory. <laughs> That's right now in the game. I in the heated game right now. So I can't put y'all on by again. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. One receiver left, two to the right. Prescott to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. What? I own fucking line playing a game. Potential game winning field goal try. And yeah, the Saints signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And they take a knee. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And they will take a knee here.
So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken